Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 476, and today we're going retro chic. Or is it retro geek? <music> While CD sales fall, vinyl record albums are thriving. The RIAA says vinyl record sales are increasing 30% a year. I'm sure the whole sleeve face fad is helping. Sleeve facing is the art of blending reality with album art, like in this example, using an album by Max Bygraves. Crosley makes a whole range of retro gadgets, and the one I like the most is the AV Room Portable USB turntable. Urban Outfitters has an exclusive edition in turquoise and tan vinyl, but you can also get it in black or brown. The turntable itself is belt driven, and it plays seven inch and 12 inch records at 33 and a third, 45 and 78 RP. PM. It has built-in stereo speakers and USB for digitizing your record collection. Crosley also makes a portable radio that looks like something Lolita would have owned. The Nomad portable speaker is designed to look like it's from the 1930s. It has an auxiliary input for an iPod, and the mono speaker has SRS resonance enhancement. The wood cabinet is wrapped in tweed vinyl, and the airplane dial tuner is electronically assisted to bring in AM and FM signals clearly. The Nomad portable speaker isn't my favorite retro-looking radio. Those of you who've been around a while, no, my favorite radio has been and still is the Model 1 designed by the late, great Henry Close. The Model 1 radio from Tivoli Audio has been around for years. It's one of those classic products that really needs no improvement. Henry Close, who invented the acoustic suspension loudspeaker and the high fidelity cassette deck, engineered the Model 1 before he passed away in 2002. One of the innovations in the Model 1 is the use of metal semiconductor field effect transistor technology in the tuner. It helps the radio hone in on a signal more precisely. They sound rich and warm and look equally great in a dusty old workshop or on a granite countertop. It's been something I've recommended since before we started Geek Brief and I just can't stop going back to it because it's as close to perfect as a radio can get. I don't remember the name of the book but it was a story about a girl who was given a Rolly Flex twin lens reflex camera and she grew up to become a famous photographer. Rollies are great for natural looking candid portraits because the photographer holds them low and the person being photographed tends to be less self-conscious. Rolly miniaturized and digitized their famous camera and the result is a classic looking top view camera that shoots five megapixel photos stored on mini SD cards. There's a solid black version and a black and red version. Except for the Canon 5D Mark II, this is the camera I'd like most to have, but exactly like the 5D Mark II, it's backordered at B&H. One more, but I'm not sure this is something that ever had a place in anyone's past, but it looks retro enough. It's the Nostalgia Peanut Butter Maker, and it's simple. It has a hopper that holds two cups of dry nuts. You want oily nuts if you're going to make butter out of them. You select the texture of your nut butter, and then the processed butter, chunky or smooth, flows into a container. Now, I've never tried this peanut butter maker, but I have a masticating juicer that also makes peanut butter, and I can tell you there isn't much better than a sandwich made with fresh salted cashew butter and honey. Hmm. Thanks for watching and thanks for using my promo codes GB1, GB2, or GB3 at GoDaddy.com when you buy a domain name. Peter used my code to buy the name MyLifeAsAFish.com. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. All I ever wanted on the Christmas morning was you. Has Jeff Smith teached us, taught us nothing? Jeff Smith teached me nothing. <laughs> Obviously. You want oily nuts if you're going to make peanut butter out of them. Neil, stop being immature. Ow!